Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Cardboard Town, a card-based city-building roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Played the demo a few months back, and I really enjoyed it. And it's out now in early access on Steam. So let's give it a go. Retromation style, let's give, go for the old standby, the Retro Nation there. Sure. Uh, but let's pop on in. But I thought the game was very promising in its demo form, and I'm excited to see what they've done with it now. Press R to rotate a structure. Most buildings can connect to a road. Great. So, all right. What do we got here? I think we've probably got the tutorials turned back on. It's been a little bit, but I do know we obviously are going to be building a city, and we need to get, like, our population up to a certain threshold. We get a certain amount of money every single day. Currently, we have two bucks. Kind of like a sort of mana system in a way. Two bucks. We can spend that to get a house. And that is... That is it for our day. I can spend, uh, you know, the road cards, but I don't believe we draw a new hand, do we? No, we do draw a new card, though. We draw a couple new cards. Increase your population to gain more maximum money. All right. Sorry. Turning the, changing the music there. Uh, turning it up. We got discard a card to draw a card. We got the extra road here. We have Clinic, add Cure card to your deck, which... Oh, thank God they added the feature that lets you see what that actually means. Remove five stacks of disease or plus one coin this day only. Uh, so this is give us two water. I think we want to just, you know, for now, focus on getting our population up until something else kind of slaps us in the face. Do I need to put down the roads? I don't know where I want them yet. Next trouble is boiling up. Advance your trouble meter by one. So we're going to be getting basically up here. You can see trouble meter advances by one at the end of every turn. At point three, you get a random trouble, which is a small disturbance, like losing some resources. Point seven, you get a random disaster, usually long-term negative effects that need to be taken care of. After point seven, it goes back down to zero. Uh, three bucks to draw two cards. We don't have the ability to do that yet. I think we need to get more population before we can do that. Here we have, yeah, these alerts, I remember. When a resource drops below zero, you will gain a red alert until that resource is positive again. Three red alerts means that it is game over. If any drops below minus 20, it's game over as well. Not playing a red card in time also causes a permanent red alert. So a red card is probably going to be something up from uh, the trouble, if I remember correctly. Uh, So clinic, minus two power. We don't currently have any power. So like... Doing this or doing this is going to put us under a limit here, no matter what. Cure, like, I have no way to gain energy at the moment. But this does gain us population, so it's probably worth it. Go ahead and put the trailer park right there. Choose a festival! Uh, I think that's because we got our population max. Gain one max money for seven days. Remove a random negative condition. Gain two shield and a nature Mmm. Reroll for plus... Oh, that's kind of a cool thing. You can reroll to add two to the trouble meter. I'm already seeing some really cool things since the demo. I think that this makes sense, because it, it stops us from... I mean, we're not in the negative, but... It's that or shopping festival, and we kind of try and really utilize that money. Because we already have a max of three, so that would give us a max of four, which allows us to play this four-cost card. All right, fine. Let's see what we can do. We do actually get to use the two bucks immediately. Discard a card and draw a card. Am I fine to discard the road for now? We got we just got a different road. We don't get to see from our, our see our deck right now. Draw a card for four dollars. Oh, interesting. You can trash a whole turn to do that. Gotcha. Two more bucks. I mean, really the only thing I can do is place this road, and it seems only cost effective to do so. We'll do that. Got this other road. I, I kind of just want to save that for when I know what to do with it. Boiling up. Advance your trouble meter by one. So by getting here, we just it just skipped one. We had no penalty right now, but we are going to be hitting that uh, terrible one a little bit faster. Fountain minus three water to get plus two nature. So, I mean, we could hit the... Uh, if we do the water... Water tower first. If that sounds fine. And then we have one buck. 
See, that's the issue with having the four four dollars. If we uh, don't have anything, lose two energy, draw two cards, flip a coin, heads gain plus one energy. You know, if we do this, we could we could just let our electricity be the thing that we have a deficit of, which kind of feels like it makes sense right now. I'm doing it. Flip a coin. Is that tails? Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, whenever a resource drops below zero, you gain, uh, yeah, three at the same time, it's game over. I'm aware. Gotcha, gotcha. Plus one energy, flip a coin, heads, gain another. I kind of like that, because we can do this and spend the, the fountain at the same time. Oh, okay, okay. So we can put the, we can probably put this out anywhere, right? Put it way out there. Boom. Okay, so that's fixed. We're back in the positive for that. Two bucks left. We can only really only do the fountain, which I feel like we should. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Wait. What is with the... What's with the radius around it? Is that... Does that become not... Placing a building in a green area provides a bonus for each green square. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, that was another thing that people suggested might be a good idea from the demo. Placing a... Some, a, a population building in a green area provides population for each green square. So park, theoretically, that could also do it too. Plan B. That's a three cost though, so it's not very like... Time effective. Discard your hand to draw three new cards. I'm kind of leaning towards going for the clinic right now. It adds one officer, which I don't entirely know what it does. But So this is not a population card. So I feel like it'd be a waste, yeah? This has some kind of... Um, hmm, some kind of aura as well. Placing a blank building in a teal area causes the trouble meter to decrease by one. Oh. Okay. That's very cool. That is really cool. I mean, hey, I wish I I wish I had done it then, but alas. The thing is we don't we don't get to know that information until after, but now we now we do know it. So I could go for a plan B. I'm kind of interested in the park. You know what? Let's Let's trash though. Let's card a card to Gain a card. Trailer park, I think I'll be able to handle. We're going to regret ditching these roads later, probably, but right now I don't. Uh-oh, a disaster. Hover your mouse over the disaster icon for more information. You cannot play cards that generate electricity. Click the disaster icon for crisis management. Uh. Oh, there it is. For 14 turns, we can't play anything that generates electricity. That is a little bit scary. Remove five stacks of disease or plus one coin this day only. Destroy this card. Hmm. I'm going to regret getting rid of that, won't I? Still don't know what the police officer does. I think we can spend it later to, to uh, stop certain crises. We can put the trailer park down. Won't matter, really. And we'll want to probably loop around the road so that it can... Uh... Yeah, definitely. So that it can connect in here. See, that adds a lot. So if I want to loop that around, I'm going to want to do this first. Remove that, if we can. Indeed. Gain more population. Is that what it was there? More road. Choose a new card. Uh, population boom. Generate house and residence in your hand. Advance the trouble meter two and destroy this card. Gain one nature. Put five random cards from your discard pile into your deck. Hmm. Hmm. I do like that it's free. It's just a free card that we'll have there. And cards that, you know, cards that we do want to play are going to be more likely to be in our draw pile, which I like. 
I didn't really have much in my discard, I don't think. I don't really want to play this. Because it decreases my trouble meter, but I don't have anything in my trouble meter right now. Road one by three. I'm going to save that because that's going to be a perfect answer. So this decreases the trouble meter. That's I like that a lot. Draw a card for four. Yeah, we're really not utilizing our uh, extra money that effectively at this exact minute. I'm going to I'm going to do the four draw at this point. 5 water minus electricity minus 1 nature. It's not that big of a deal, but we also don't really need said water. Okay, there's the 1 by 2 road. That's what I was hoping for. So we can do that and then we can pop this over here. And we still have the ability to, you know, like put the houses back here to get all of the extra nature. God, yeah, it really changes the game. I, these proximity boost things, they didn't exist before. So that's really, really... It's its very important, very noticeable. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and regret this. To delay that trouble meter. Ruin, ruined plans, discard your most expensive card. It's fine. Um, I can't play this. This is my most expensive card. I'll just draw a new one for now, then. Doomsday Bunker. Uh, red cards have a counter on them. If you don't play them until the counter runs out, you gain a... I don't have the ability to do that. I don't think we can discard it, though. Yeah, it does not let us discard that card. Which makes sense, to be clear, but... And I don't think it's going to be discarded by uh, by that event. However, I think it maybe ate the event. That or it's going to happen at the end of the today. Uh, but minus six waters... Ah, oh, that sucks. Why does it have to be minus six? Industrial water well is... Ah, it's got a it's got a minus. It gets you less humans per red square. So this is gonna be our section where we don't want to put people. <laughs> Road. I'd like to um I'd like to loop this around and be able to put more things by by this. But I can't get enough energy to solve these. The Doomsday Bunker, I may have to just take... I just may have to take the permanent. Which is rough. It's going to be a long time. How big is my deck? When your deck is empty, shuffle the cards in your discard pile into your deck. It's a huge... It's a huge deck. I'm most concerned about what this is going to be. Oh my god, that's right! I remember that! It's so... It's such a weird part of the song. Apologies. Bum, bum, bum. Apologies for me. Not, not the, not the song. I don't. Hey, it ain't on me. I kind of. It's kind of fun, but it is just surprising how where it comes from nowhere. Boom, boom, boom. I think we have to hit the next. We're gonna need to um, bump the road up and then over. Oh, boy. I think my nature is good enough that I can I can discard this for now. Fire station minus three water. Oh, boy. Add firefighting to your deck. Don't feel like I need it at the moment. Pipe leak. Lose a water at the end of a day. Every day? Spend resources or officers to remove the disaster. That's right. I could spend one of everything to just remove it right now. Or I could spend the officer. I think I have to just spend that now. Like, getting rid of that immediately is important. Uh, generate a house and a residence in your hand. And then immediately advance the trouble meter. I don't hate that. Yet another oil leak. 
lose one. Okay, so it's telling me what that's going it's going to be. The residence is a plus four. Does it take uh yeah, it takes Okay, we can't we can't do that though. Checks out. Just don't want to accidentally place it. There we go. It's it's hard to get the it's hard to get the card to go away. I can't play the Doomsday Bunker because I just don't have six I can't I can't have six dollars right now. So I kind of feel like I need to do some forced draws for a while. Still can't play the coal power plant. I could turn it off with all that, but I don't think that that's I don't think that's worth it right now. Skyscraper, minus one electricity, plus twenty-four people. It also costs seven bucks. Lose nature. That that doesn't bother me. So we have one. Put like a trailer park there. That would actually work. Oh, but then we don't. We would need the roads to. Eh. Can we have things overlap? Kind of. Not really. I'm leaning towards just like, just like this for right now. A little bit of population up. I mean, I think we just need to keep going and get that uh, the max pop up. Discard a card, then generate three road cards. One, two, and three, and just start... Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, first things first. What's the deal with this? Can I... I think this is going to be something I'm going to want to place over here, because it co like covers lots of ground. Uh, skyscraper, you just can't afford. House is just fine here. Pave the way. I'm going to get rid of the skyscraper, because I'm just not going to be able to afford it for a long time. Love that. Absolutely love that. Pop that down by two. Power through, lose two power. Draw, nah. Small trade is probably going to be the way to go. Like, deck cycling is, is pretty good, I would imagine. We have a road still, which at this point, I've got this park all filled. We're going to kind of want to... Hello? Oh, X amount of money. Yeah, checks out. That's on me. Lose two energy. Draw two cards. I mean, I'm not... Not right now. One buck. Do I have anything for four? I have the industrial water well. I need to get my population up in seven turns. Or I need to find a way to gain extra money in case I can go over cap. Which maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming it's five to draw a new card right now. No, it's still four. So we gotta go to boop, 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 boop. small trade. What's something I don't care about right now? I think this is actually good because it can help me stop a disaster. So I'll get rid of this one for now. Discard your hand. Draw three. Fire station, it shouldn't matter if this is in this spot. Oh, wait, but it does actually... It's one of the uh, provide... Minus. So I, I'm actually... Yeah, I'll drop this down here. It's okay. We could just ditch just a lot of power and it doesn't matter that much. I'll do it. Cool. Theoretically, we only lost one. Good, we have an extra road. That does actually help. Bam, ba bum. Because we can loop that back over here. Take advantage of all these tiles. Small forest. That can go anywhere, if I remember correctly. Another road. Small forest. Actually, yeah, it can go anywhere. Can it can it double up effectiveness on a certain tile? I'll never be able to build in those spots though. 
I wonder if it can. Probably. We can do we could do this and theoretically build in that space. It'd be very cost effective. And then we like loop that around. I mean, I guess that's fine. Sure. Give me a house. Trailer park. Where was the spot I said was going to be good for trailer park? I mean, here's not bad. We're, we're about to hit that limit up there anyway, so I'll just say sure. Minus two on that. We have the road. There's four. I could definitely put down this coal power plant. I'm going to really want it in my um, trash zone, though. I can't do it here. I would ruin the lives of these lovely individuals. Well, does it matter? I'm kind of curious. For science. This is for science. Can we lose pop... Yes, you can lose population by putting it down. I didn't know if it was like... Basically, if uh, if it was already down, does it subtract? I, I did not know the answer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the plan B now. Draw two cards for three. House for two. Another Doomsday Bunker. Great. Should bump up population by quite a bit, in theory. Fountain. I'm not really lacking in nature at the moment. Plus energy, chance to get another. Okay, that, this was a that was a good draw. Oh, there it is. There's our good stuff. Got another disaster coming our way. So we're gonna go for a two, a two, and uh, we have the police officer for getting rid of whatever the hell that is gonna be. Yeah, we should put the trailer park here. We could still, like, I think that there's a, a house that could go back to. There we are. We got the extra road. There we go. We can fill up this... More or less fill up this entire park now. And then we can, like, start building out over there. Alright, what's the disaster? Cards that have a water cost require two additional. Um, that might be... That just might be fine. Good. Solar panel. Not that bad boy over there. Did we get a second one? Nice. Losing nature. Not great. Can this go this can go anywhere? I'm just gonna pop it down here. So I put that one there. Double water tower. We have way more spaces that we can build houses. Minus two power, plus one safety. So we did earn the, the permanent penalty there. But I just... I never got to the ability to um, spend six. I just... I don't have that... I don't have the money. And what's the penalty? Is it minus 20? Minus 20 is game over. Okay. Hmm. Don't really need roads. Skyscraper's interesting. But I can't I can't afford it. Why is the skyscraper in this starting deck? Oh god. That's not good. Then we have the one, two, we have the one, two, three for there already. We have all that. We've kind of beefed this because of these trees. Wait, oh, you can. Oh, you, oh, you lose a nature. Okay. You lose a nature when you destroy a forest. I mean, hey, checks out. Small trade. I'm going to ditch the skyscraper as much as I would like to. Put out all the fires or draw a card and destroy this card. I'm going to just hope there's no fires. 
Because I feel like I need to schmoove along. Oh my lord, stop with- stop with the roads! Stop with all the roads! For the love of God! Cursed. All coin flips result in tails. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe we just, uh... Pop this here for now. That works. Just need, I need like a lot more just, just houses. Shopping center requires five. See, why couldn't I have gotten this one earlier? That would have been way better. The industrial water well is pretty good here for us. Helps our water situation so that we can, we can actually go, uh, we can take the minus, minus eight, but we need to get you need to get people in five turns, man. And the thing is that the second I play this, I actually lose the game, so. We need to put the water well first. It's got to go in a spot that it's not really going to attract that many people. I'd say this is pretty good. Important. We got one extra. Give me a freaking house. Okay, blackout, losing energy. That's fine. I mean, it's not, but like it is. It is. So th this one doesn't provide a boost. I need another house. I need another house. I need another house. Please. Please give me, just give me a house. Park. Park. I'm so upset. I just need a house. I can't increase my population without another house. What am I doing wrong? We're going to get another forced... Eh, eh. It feels weird that we have two... Th we got two cards right away. Back to back that cost six. When we literally can't have six bucks. It should be penalty enough, right? Like, Am I crazy? It's penalty enough that... It costs all of these stats. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. And let's like, I'm going to need a house, please. I don't know. Maybe I could like actually get a house, please. Trailer park. That, that should do it. Just in time. Just in time. Whenever you play four cards in a day, reduce the trouble meter. When you discard a road card, gain a random resource. Add a water tower and a water pump station to your hand. Uh, I do care about that. I will say my safety is negative. Uh, sure. So, fire station minus five plus one. That puts us... No. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Okay, so if we, if we don't put this down, we just lose. So we do have to do that. Because that saves us from the negative ant ant from the minus one. And it, it's... I can play the Doomsday Bunker now. Now I actually can afford it. That being said, it would actually kill me, so never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter either way, then. Eh, eh. Cool. I think there's ways to remove those, but, like, good God. <laughs> Please. Shopping center in nine. We need to fix up the water. Discard your hand, draw more. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards that right now. House, road, skyscraper for seven. I can't afford it. I wish I could. House for two. So the question now is like, do I delay problems? All coin flips result in tails. It's not been relevant yet. 
Do I delay my problems? Or do I gain more... I mean, I have two police officers to stop whatever penalties we have. So I'll just say okay to that one. Uh, I need to get my water up pretty bad. But the thing is, the second literally... Yeah, I... No, this sucks. The second any stack goes negative, I lose. So. Industrial water well. It certainly is going to be helpful. All road cards cost two more. That doesn't matter that much. You know what? Recycling is probably screwing us over because it's taking us much longer to get through our deck. I think that recycling might actually be a bad card. I think it, it made it so we couldn't... Three officers to fix that? Oh, man. Plus five water. Minus one electricity. See, the thing is that won't matter because... I need to fix the water, and I'm going to need to fix the electricity. So we're sort of just screwed one way or another. Coal power plant is actually going to be what we need, I think. Okay. I see the pathway towards just not dying, at the very least. We have the water well, and then we can... So we play the water well next turn, and then the shopping center the turn after, and we'll be okay. I might as well play a road, even though it costs two. It doesn't actually matter. If it's gonna just go away anyways. Discard your most expensive card. It's gonna be the skyscraper. I don't care. Let me be clear. Couldn't care less. But yeah, starting off with two cards that you can't afford, or like two uh, penalty cards that you can't actually afford is a little bit wild. Okay. Next up is the shopping center. It's not going to put us under, but we can't afford it. A second shopping center. Certainly this doesn't actually give me population, does it? Okay, for science, since we're so close to death anyways, this is for science. Yeah, it did not do anything. Uh, next time you gain a... Eh, eh. <laughs> Whenever you flip a coin and gain t get tails, gain plus one water. Considering we get always get tails right now is kind of good. Whenever disaster happens with a coin, heads gain a police officer, tails gain two money. That's not bad. I like this for us at the moment. Uh, we need to work on getting energy. So I wish I could look at my discard. I will say I know for a fact that I had cards that fixed that situation that I had right now. However, literally the second any of any of these go under by one, we do just lose. House. Actually can afford that. So I think um yeah, the question is delaying problems or what? Yeah. I think so. Trailer park. I actually can't do that. I do, I would lose. I would lose the second I put that down. Until I gain a shield from some other source. Put out all fires. I'm gonna let that just get destroyed. Get another house. Go for another safety. Water tower, very good. Top tier even. Pollute, let's pollute the hell out of this water. Wait. Did that actually... Does the putting the water tower there actually do something? It said population cards. Putting a population card there causes a problem. But... Hey, I guess that's not entirely true. Fountain, minus three water, plus two nature. I want to. I really would like to.
We are going to have a problem. House. Keep on kicking the problems down the road. Sure. Can now build on all of those spots. We got a small trade. I'm down with that. Let's uh, discard a road. We gain a random resource. We got energy. That's actually amazing. Good. Another house. Kick the cane down the road. We kind of just have to. Residence. Finally. Plus 10. Right, hopefully this disaster isn't just like you lose blank stats. Uh, so this is a minus three and a minus five. So I think if I put a, f oh that's right. So can this provide retroactive benefits? I would assume so, based off of how the other thing worked. It can provide minor retroactive benefits. Uh, you cannot play your most expensive card. Whenever you play a card, gain a stack of crime. <laughs> Whenever you gain five stacks of crime, lose a shield. Oh my god, please give me a shield. Oh, thank god. National Arms Factory? I mean, like, I want do this so I can play five cards now without penalty. Part of me even wants to just go for the minus one on all, on all of them because otherwise it is a ticking timer until we actually just straight up lose. I mean we already have that anyways. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that for me. We could have also been able to put down the trailer park. Give me a card. I'm going to keep the road so that maybe we can get some discard action going. We're going to need to put down the shopping center in six days, otherwise we lose. So we need we need four energy in six days, otherwise we're done. That's, I mean, that actually is just lethal. <laughs> Draw two cards. At this point, I don't know if there's a max hand size that I need to be worried about. Increase the money, co the cost of a random card in your hand. Oh, this is starting to be bad. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I need this. I need this desperately. Wait, is the coin flip still guaranteed bad? Nope. Well, maybe it is. All right. We're going to need some energy. Some energy. Oh, that increases the cost of outsourcing. It's still worth it. Still draw two cards instead of one. Yeah. At this point, maybe. Two. We could also put this by some houses. Maybe get some similar retroactive benefits. That's quite a bit. All right. Incoming death. Oh my lord. I can't I just can't gain power. I just can't do it. I can't do it. Great. Just what I wanted. The thing is it's maybe fine. But I I actually am dead now. That's fine. Just nothing I can nothing I could do to increase that so I could actually play this card. Because if I play this card, to be clear, I go minus three on electricity, and I'm screwed. It wouldn't have been an issue if, you know, like I could have actually uh had the money to play the, the cards that screwed me over first. So there's no there's literally nothing I can do, right? Five energy costs. A million roads. I, I could, um... Yeah, that was my fear. 
we have a we have a max hand size. Which means Which means I'm done. So we can do this. We'll, maybe we can draw a card that lets us do something. No, apparently we had an even maxer hand size. How did I play a card and not have room in my hand after? I guess it dr it draws the cards and then it empties it from our hand. Well, either way, we're going to be dead this turn anyways. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Starting... Oh. Oh, okay. So it's one of these... It's one of these, where we can actually just... You could just upgrade. If you play the game enough, you just start with more resources. That sounds good. Discard your hand and draw four new cards. Whenever you gain this, gain that. These are some cool upgrades. I mean, I'll say I really enjoy it. I just... Same thing. Like, I feel like the starting deck is, is quite thick. Uh, but I, I really... I like it. I think it's a nice, fun, relaxing game. I, despite the fact that it was very frustrating at the end. Because it's just like... It's one of those things where... I know what the issue is, but I need to wait, like... 12 turns until I hopefully draw a power card, you know, a card that gives me power upgrade, something like that. Like, I know what the problem is, and the other one is, uh, you know, where I had the, immediately I was faced with the danger cards, where if I didn't fulfill them in time, they would be a permanent strike against me for the entire game. They cost six, and I drew them when my max cost, uh, or my max gold was three, or whatever. So it's just like, I don't know how you, I don't know how you're supposed to handle that. To be honest, I don't know how you're supposed to handle it. But I think that if you, you know, you grind it out enough, you get, I guess, that meta progression. So maybe if you started with, maybe you could start with more money or whatever. But I feel like there should maybe be, what I would suggest would be a pool of early game penalty cards, mid game penalty cards, and late game penalty cards. And just like, depending on how many turns in you are, will be, will determine how bad of penalties you can get, right? I feel like that seems logical to me. Like, get one that screws you over, but you can you have the amount of gold that can pay for it, right? Like, hell, it can you can even make it worse. You can make it take more resources from you, but you have to spend only four gold because that's all you have, <laughs> right? Like, I think that seems logical. That seems fair. And I know that the the argument for it would be well stat up faster you know like grow your population faster it's like you kind of can't you're at the whims of whether or not you draw population to an extent so and all this comes down to the fact that like i think that you just don't cycle your cards fast enough either a the deck is too big or that you cycle you don't cycle cards fast enough for you to like really have as much autonomy as i'd want to have but for just a game like a like a dwarf romantic style game i really really enjoyed it in from that lens from a deck builder standpoint, it's, uh, you know, it's obviously lacking some player agency, but you, there's a lot of player agency in the actual layout of the um, of the city. All the improvements they made to it are really, really cool. I'm very excited to see how it, it shapes up over the course of early access here. Again, hoping that it moves in the direction of like, I don't know, slightly thinner starting deck, and you can just upgrade upgrade it with cards more often or something like that, or just I don't know, maybe it needs a it can't really function with a discard your entire hand and draw a new hand every turn kind of a thing, but I think something needs to be looked at with that for the game to be more fun. Like you need to be you need to be drawing like twice as many cards a turn. I don't know, maybe maybe just um maybe making the card draw button cheaper. That actually would probably solve the whole thing, right? If you if that only if you could draw two cards per turn with that, you know, if you could do it twice, it costs like three or something like that, two or three, and you could get to the point where you could eventually draw three cards a turn that way. It's kind of like drawing a whole new hand. That's probably the best angle that screws the game up the least, I would say, is looking into maybe nerfing the price of that by one. I don't know. I think that'd be nice. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.